Hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I have to talk about this plant because this day, seven years ago, May 20, 2016, I got this Nepenthes Burbijay from Wistuba and it was tiny. Mm, look about that. that. And now it's like this. I'm going to show you closely. Beautiful red leaves. So happy birthday. It's not really a birthday, it's an acquiring date birthday or anniversary. That's the most recent picture. I am absolutely in love with this plant, that ivory color. Quite, quite rare, there is a McFarlane. I'm pronouncing it wrong probably, but you know, um, that is white as well. Maybe a couple of others, I, I don't remember on top of my head, but Nepenthes Burbige definitely stands out in the crowd of, you know, all the colorful Nepenthes. This one is absolutely stunning. This is an intermediate species from Borneo. It is relatively easy to grow in tropical conditions. It tolerates a little bit of heat, a little bit of cold. You know, intermediate are the easiest ones in my opinion. Um, it is growing in my highland tent, but to be honest, my highland tent has intermediate conditions. Sometimes it doesn't drop as much as it should always. It, it depends uh, on, the, on the month of the year. But anyways, um, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you another picture that's a bit older and hiding all the way there. I don't know if I can bring the camera down there. Let me try to zoom in. There you go, so that's another picture. I think those are the only two pictures I have that are in a decent shape. Some nectar on top of the, on top of the lead. It turns a bit red after a while, but when it starts, it's it's really, really pure white. I do have some crushed pictures that are all the way there. This one grew, was squeezed between pots, so it doesn't look good. Um, the plant did not vine for me yet. Um, you can see the vine here. Well, not the vine, but like the, I don't know, the stem right here I regularly cut the leaves when they are when they are turning brown next one maybe this one ah, it's still okay I'm gonna leave that but yeah I really like the plant uh, just the leaves um, the red coloration when it starts uh, like new leaves are green with that red uh, stripe in the center so yeah looking forward to seeing the picture here now this plant really tries to find uh, the shade for its pictures. Um, I mentioned that in a previous video, I believe. Um, it always tries to put the pictures in the most remote uh, locations. It's really hard to find, so I, I usually move them actually. Um, I have another one that I bought from Christian Klein, uh, I think 2021, yeah, so two years ago. Um, and it's right here this one um, it's not at the same location may not actually uh, receive the same amount of, of light uh, but it's growing super well as well the la latest picture is this guy it's uh, it's beautiful it almost looks like an intermediate picture already I think we could qualify this as intermediate picture the, the tendril is going on the side and the shape is definitely not lower picture shape. Uh, so that's quite interesting, even though the plant is still very small here. Right, there's another one hiding over there. So this plant is uh, doing great as well. I only have it for two years um, and I've got uh, maybe three, four pictures on it, maybe a bit more. Um, and they last quite long, the pictures quite, last quite long. And uh, oh no, I realized the lead on this one is broken. What happened here? I didn't notice. 
Oh, sorry about that. I may have broken you. Okay, fixed. <laughs> this is a VGA Barrio. But that's not about you today, that's about you guys. You. Nepenthes Burby G. I have a couple of hybrids um, uh, with Burby G in them, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show them today. So one more look at this beauty. I apologize for the noise, the fans are running. Yeah, this definitely stands out against the, the green leaves. So, yeah, highly, highly recommended species. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time, bye.